Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our little Kia Picanto. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a, a little bit more about it. It's a 1.25 GT Line S. It's Euro 6, 2017 on a 17 plate. Excellent condition and a fantastic specification. It's done 43,732 miles. Fuel consumption, urban, 47.9 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 74.3 miles per gallon. And combined is 61.4 miles per gallon. Has a 0-60 time of 11.6 seconds. A top speed of 107 miles per hour. Out of a four cylinder, 83 brake horsepower, eight valve engine. It has keyless lock, keyless entry, rear privacy glass, the red flash down the plastic sill protectors, multi-spoke diamond cut and dark silver alloys, power folding door mirrors, the red inserts in the grille make it look a bit like an EV. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. The red inserts in the vents at the side in the front spoiler, integrated rear tailgate spoiler, reversing camera in the Kia badge stroke, boot handle, reversing sensors, rear diffuser, twin chrome tip exhaust, and it's a five door. Okay, so service history, let's just see. Saw it here a, a second ago, if I can read it. So, 6th of 12, 2021, 33,408 miles direct cars. 15th of the 12th, 2022 at 38,340. That's Andrew Wood. We've got a telephone number there. We'll service it again before it goes out. Okay, so let's uh, let's get going. As you see, it's keyless entry, keyless go, uh, foot on the clutch. As long as you've got the keys, which we have two of, in the car, then uh, you can just put your foot on the clutch, press the button, and start the car. Now it's a it's a really really good specification. Um, anybody who watches my YouTube channel will know I've got a little electric vehicle, a little Citroen Ami. Ideal for me, just nipping backwards and forwards to work. Having said that, <laughs> I'm doing my best to make it, uh, to equip it like this. It's a very, very simple car. I can do without the electric windows and the central door locking and the power folding door mirrors, but this has got Apple CarPlay. It's got heated seats, heated steering wheel. If I just put that on, heated steering wheel there, heated seats, just knock it onto one. We've got height adjustable steering wheel there. Just get that a bit lower down. Cruise control, which I'll show you uh, how it works. Now then, phone's controlling my cameras at the moment, but if I just go into settings here, into Bluetooth, Kia Motors, I need to, I need to forget this device, forget, because I did have it uh, connected up. But now, well, it's just telling me the Bluetooth device has been connected, but I want to, pair a mobile to this uh, system. Switch on Bluetooth, watch out at the bottom, go into setup. Oh, it's already picked up. It's already picked up uh, a phone to pair. So I'll click pair there, pair there. Allow contacts and favorites to sync. Connecting Bluetooth device, confirm Bluetooth device is active, which I've done. Barry's iPhone connected. It's as simple as that. I mean, that, that's, that's a very, very simple system to use. Okay, I'll just show you how to play music from your mobile through the Bluetooth audio system in this 2017 Kia Picanto. All you do, onto music, onto the record. You'll see there at the bottom, if I click on that, your choices are iPhone or Kia Motors. There's a tick next to Kia Motors. So that's going to play any music that's playing on here, any soundtrack, whether it be iTunes, YouTube Audio, Prime, Music, Spotify, it will play through this system. So I'm going to click play, just go over here to media and you'll see there it's playing and I can control it like so. Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this 2017 Kia Picanto onto nav. <clears throat> that's brought up address, points of interest, Kia service, and all, all sorts of other stuff. So we're going to address. Click on there. We want city and postcode. We want there. So onto there. And we're Grosvenor Garage, Blackburn Road, High Walton Preston, P, R. Now we want numbers. Where's the numbers? Numbers are over there in the corner. So click on that. So it's five, four. I may have had to, on some you have to put a space, on this you don't. 
E, A, PR5, 4 EA, OK, and then set as destination, even though you've just typed it in, which really winds me up, set as destination, it's calculating, and then you've got to tell it to start guidance. So, so that's that, that's, uh, that's how you set the sat nav. The best thing about this 2017 Kia Picanto is it's got Apple CarPlay. So with your charging lead plugged into the USB down there, click on like so, and Apple CarPlay's come up straight away. Now, if I just go in here, normally I wouldn't need to, but I've set this up differently so I could show you. The first time you set it up, if you go, well, when as you're setting up, you'll see CarPlay, Kia Motors there, allow CarPlay while locked. If, it, if you can't do anything when, when your phone's locked, that's what you need to tick. So allow CarPlay while locked. So now, if I unplug that and then I plug it back in, it'll, there you go, Apple CarPlay. I can switch it to Apple CarPlay by just doing that. So you've got the radio function, you've, you've got everything. It's fantastic. It's a, such an easy system to, to use and you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel. Here we go. The voice activation button, two seconds. Navigate to Manchester Airport. Getting directions to Manchester Airport. Now you'll see there, there's a button. If you press that, it'll say go, but if you leave it, it will automatically set off. So you don't have to take your, your hands off, off, off the steering wheel. You, you're on the way to Manchester Airport, you fancy a coffee. Again, you don't have to look for a Starbucks or anything like that. Um, again, two seconds of voice activation. Take me to Starbucks. One option is Starbucks on Sheep Hill Lane in Chorley. It adds seven minutes to your route. Want to try that one? Yes, please. Getting directions to Starbucks. Th that's it. It's so simple. You just don't... It, your Apple CarPlay is far better than the system in, in the car to start off with. So we'll just... Cancel navigation. Ending navigation. Now, this is a little pocket rocket. As I say, you've got heated steering wheel, heated seats. And you're away. Very economical, nice city car, nice light steering too. Go back to this. Well, I'm going to put it on so you can see the text. Text Barry. What do you want to say to Barry? I'm just in this brilliant Kia Picanto. It says, I've just seen this brilliant Kia Panto. Send it. Well, it's not foolproof, but send. Done. Now you'll see there, one's come up. I've just got a text message. You can't read it while you're driving, unless, of course, you press this for two seconds. Read text. Barry said, I've just seen this brilliant Kia Panto. Would you like to reply? No, thank you. Those are all your messages. So apart from just sending a text to your girlfriend saying that you've just seen Miss Kia Pianto <laughs> and getting you in trouble, you know, what could possibly go wrong with this Apple CarPlay system? It's fantastic. If you want to call somebody, call Barry. Calling Barry iPhone. There you go. Hi, this is Barry. Sorry, I can't take your call at the moment. But if you leave. So it, it's called me. It, you know, I mean, it's just fantastic. You've got all your audio books. You've got, you, as I say, your map. You can see where you're going. If I click that, you see where you're going. You can put it in 3D and so on. You can, if you're meeting somebody, you can send your pin and they know how far you are away and when you're going to be there. Absolutely great system. Anyway, back to the car. So, nice drive. On the left here, there you go, you've got your volume controls. You can skip tracks. There's your answer phone and dink whoever you're talking to. Over here, you click there, the, like a menu button. Click through there, do it again. That's the car, that's the settings. 
um, and you can flip through like so. So that's the mileage, that's average miles per gallon, instantaneous, average miles per hour, time that you've been in the car, um, how far you've driven, and more importantly as a motor trader, how far you've got to go before you, you need to fill up. Left hand side, rev counter, in the rev counter at the bottom, there is a coolant temperature gauge, your information displays in the centre on the right hand side, your uh, speedo, and that's in miles and kilometres in the centre. I have to say, my, uh, my minces are, are just starting to go a little bit now, and uh, the kilometres bit in the centre is quite small and a bit blurry for me. I can see the, the speedo, you know, well and good. Um, in the bottom, you've got your fuel gauge. Nice clear display here. Here's your setup. You click on, click on setup. You can do all sorts of things. Your navigation, sound display, um, Bluetooth, phone projection, which I'm assuming is the uh, Apple CarPlay and how you want the screen to appear. I don't think it'll do anything. Settings cannot be changed while an external drive device is connected. That may mean that Apple CarPlay connects to this by Bluetooth as well. I've not checked that. I've just plugged the cable in. But that, that could be the case. I'm not sure. So every, every radio media, seeking radio channels, if anybody ever does that anymore, the gearbox is very slick and precise, um, which is when I when I was a bit younger, I used to have a, a Nova. Well, we Nova GTS came out, and they, they were the worst seller in the world. And we had six white ones. And uh, I used to have one as a demonstrator until we sold it, and then another one, and another one. And that, again, that was reminds me a lot of this. It was like a, a little pocket rocket. But I guess if you put um, a Nova GTE next to this now, the Nova would look minute. And even though this is a small car by today's standards, it will still be a, a heck of a lot bigger. Because I've got bags of room. Nobody can sit behind me, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I, I could actually move the seat forward and give <laughs> the person behind me a little bit of leg room. And I'd still be comfortable. I wouldn't be like stretched out like I like to drive. But I'd still be comfortable enough to drive a long way for a little car. Here we've got the cruise control, so we've got mode there, so that's cruise. Now to set it, if I click set minus down, that's set the cruise. I can speed it up like so, or knock the speed down like so. But it's, it's pretty, you know, it, it's, it's not a bumpy car really. It, at least it doesn't appear to be at the moment um, for the size of it and for the sporty kind of genre it, it's just it's quite it's quite nice to drive it's not not my type of car anymore but I can see the attraction I say it's not my type of car I drive around in a Citroen Ami of course it's my type of car it's it's, it's it'd be perfect for me here we've got power folding door mirrors and then if I click there I can change my door mirrors and click over there and again it's all a matter of muscle memory when you're doing stuff you can still keep your eyes forward on the road everything's nice to hand different shapes the circular you, you know you don't get confused you, you know what you're doing, your, your global lock in there, windows and your electric windows here. Another great thing, it actually has the wireless charging down there next to the two cup holders. USB, your auxiliary and then it's got a power socket too. That big uh, lorry there just cloaking a, a car. 
It's a good job I didn't get giddy and go across. Like he did. <clears throat> Not big on indicators, is he, that guy? Four leather, not, 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 not four leather, four forks, as in F-A-U-X. So artificial leather, but looks good. The nice red flashes match the exterior too. There we go. And, and we, we're sorted. I can stick, stick mode. Cruise, knock down. Let me just see if if I, if I stick cruise on, can I set it by knocking up? No, no, I can't. So you have to set it by knocking down. So you see, it's quite clearly marked there, set minus. So as I say, you have to knock it down. I suppose that's so that you can't get to a speed 70 miles an hour, and then you click upwards to set it, and it knocks it to 71, and then um, the uh, 5.0 over there stops you for speeding not that it would do but nice enough car sunroof so but tilt and slide there Great specification little car. I, f I think I forgot to take photos of the reversing camera. Um, if there's nobody up here, just gonna have to knock that off a little bit. Just moderate my speed because we're only doing 60 along here. And we'll come off here. Uh, we've got the shade band as well. Steering wheel is uh, extremely toasty. The lady who part exchanged this, uh, <laughs> one of the requirements of the new car she was buying is it had to have a heated steering wheel. And I totally understand. Once you've had a heated steering wheel, you don't want not to. Now they're all cars behind me. Is there anything coming? Yeah, there is a car coming, so I'll just quickly knock that in reverse. There you go, and that showed that. I frightened everybody to death behind me, thinking I was gonna reverse, but. So reversing camera, and it's got the gold posts on as well, so you know where you're going. Nice light clutch. There we go. You know, it's, it's a great handling little vehicle. As usual, I always find with cars like this, they make me want to drive faster than I would do in a big three litre. So I always have to watch myself. But it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's a nice car. I think that custom button there, I'm sure if you press the custom button at the moment, it goes on to Apple CarPlay. The I'm not indicating brigade are definitely out today. But do we care?
great, great gearbox. It's just, it's like a toy. So, so we can't go any faster anyway, but be behind the learner driver now. So, is there anything I've missed? It's, the car's just got everything. It's just very, very well specified for a little car. And a good price. Okay, well, we're coming to the railway level crossing that's usually down whenever I come this way. So we'll see. But uh, that should actually be everything. Is it down? Is it down? Not yet. No. Okay, I'll finish this test drive there. Um, lovely car, as usual. This came in part exchange, so um, from a nice couple. And uh, just to be fair, it's the first time I've been out in it. I'm not sure it, I think it's been cleaned, but it was clean when it came in, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Lance will kill me for saying that. If he has cleaned it, I apologise. All right, I'll finish it there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.